Lewis Gray here from lewisgray.com. I wanted to check in with a brand new Twitter client called TwasUp. TwasUp isn't open to the regular public yet, so I wanted to display what I've been able to see over the last 24 hours from a new product in beta. All of you are familiar with Twitter. It's where you put your updates in every day, you follow your friends, it has new functionality including lists, location, the ability to retweet automatically from within the browser. But not a whole lot is happening with Twitter.com. People are saying, well look, it's all about the different clients. I was among the first people to try TweetDeck, really liked that product. We've seen a lot of innovation from people like Seismic, new products like Brizzly on the web, and TwasUp is doing some really interesting things. This is the standard TwasUp interface. Instead of presenting me every single update in line, as you would if you clicked here where it says all, you have the option to see what it considers highlights. And the highlights are people who are rated influential, they're in lists that you follow, they're people who you contact most frequently. So through something sort of like My Sixth Sense's digital intuition, it pulls it up to the top. But I can go ahead and take a look at all of my tweets that are rolling through. We see the updates from Rafi and Scott Karp and Francine Hardaway. Take a look over here. They've got a Twitter tag cloud, so they can say those topics which are most frequently being talked about in my stream today. Really interesting how many features are here. First you get the velocity. Look how many tweets we're going to get per day if the last 19 minutes are any indication. 17,000 tweets would be pouring in here. 146 contacts of mine who I'm following were updating just in the last 20 minutes alone. You can see what they're talking about. Obviously the Apple tablet is in the news. Haiti's in the news. You see the sentimental analysis, both good news and bad news, it's kind of a filter. It says happy and sad, just to be real clear. As we're looking at these updates, more of them are coming in. It says who they're coming from. So you can see updates here from Steve Case, um, Eric Hoffman, Blog Diva. Really interesting stuff. Now with TwizUp having a background in search, obviously they're going to just nail search. So if we want to refine it and do that search on Apple, I can just write the word Apple and it automatically gets highlighted. I didn't even hit return. Every single tweet that has the word Apple is highlighted. Two things to notice right away. First, multimedia. You've got your photos, you've got your video right in line. Second, the expansion of URLs. Today you'll get a bit.ly link and you hope it's good, right? Nobody wants to get rickrolled. But you're going to see exactly where it's going to go with a headline and sometimes even an excerpt from the movie. Movie, what am I talking about? Depends on what you're looking at, but uh, an excerpt from the link. So you can take a click on the video side, look at photos and video, anything that's there. It can play in line, uh, just like Brizzly and some other clients have been able to do, but uh, Twitter.com has not yet done. You can take a look at questions. Now this is determined if somebody has a question mark. You know, is it just me or does Hershey or Kraft try to buy Cadbury every couple of months? Have you guys tried this out? The question marks are there. You can find out who's using geolocation. So in this case, you can go through and see who's tweeting from the United States, who's tweeting from Japan, Europe. Really in line, get all that different functionality based on what Twitter's offering you. Key to Twas Up is what's a toolbar functionality. We can start at home, and home obviously is where you have all of your tweets, all the updates, the highlights, the videos and photos. You also have list functionality, completely embedded. You can see those that I've created, such as Top Tech Bloggers, has about 750 people following, 109 specific people that it's looking at right now. And you get good details. Here's Read Write Web, here's Mashable. You can see what they're talking about. In this case, it looks like iPhone is trending. You can see 200 different updates from Doc Searle, Laughing Squid, Wayne Sutton. You see details on social web, posting, good news, bad news, just from this list alone. I can go to any list who I follow. Let's pick uh, Awesome Social from Josh Elman, who used to work at Facebook and is now over at Twitter himself. So he has this list that he's created. Once again, it does the filter. It finds the highlights from this list, or it finds all of them from this list. Very good, interesting functionality. Now, Everybody who uses Twitter is a narcissist. We know this. We want to know what people are saying about us. So I can click on mentions, and that's you know the same kind of mentions you'll find in your Twitter account on the right side. But within Twas Up, you've got it in your toolbar. You find out when people are talking about you. You get your highlights, as before, or all updates. Looks to me like 37 mentions a day, 198 updates in the last five days. You can see what they're saying. And again, here's the excerpt talking about Twas Up. Not a big surprise. And you can see yesterday we had an interesting post from Chris Sad about the Synaptic Web. And so obviously Synaptic Web is something that people are talking about a lot. And good news is, it looks like people are pretty positive. 23 uh, happy faces and no frowns. That's a good thing. I can pop into an inbox. Now, 
you know, with some fear of showing you my direct messages. Your inbox is just like your inbox on Facebook or email or anything else, and you can get that detail. Looks like an error connecting to Twitter. Who didn't ever have an error with Twitter, right? So here's some uh, inside detail. So Holden Page, Skeptic Geek, Chris Sad, you know, notes that I'm getting are coming right into my inbox. So I can go to Home, I can go to List, I can go to Mentions, I can go to Inbox, I can do a search, and this would be uh, a broader search if I want to do a search for Google. So it's going to go through and find me uh, those that are highlighted, uh, people who I follow and engage with. More, I can go to the last 100 things that are mentioned. You really get this idea. 75,000 mentions per day of the word Google. So what TwizUp is doing is kind of turning the whole game of clients upside down. Twitter.com started just as a client. Then they added search functionality with the acquisition of Semize. TwizUp is going the other way. They started out with the search functionality. Now they're coming out with a client. It's obviously in beta. It's already fully featured. Look at the settings. I can click on the settings and decide what it is that's going to hit me in my highlights. If I don't want it to pay attention to what I'm doing, I uncheck that box. Or I check that box, and it's probably going to get better and better for me over time. So watch Twas Up really close. I like their search engine today. It's at twazzup.com. The Twitter client shows significant promise. It's probably the best Twitter web client I've seen since the invocation of uh, Brizzly. I think Brizzly's still really hot as well, uh, but TwizUp's really going to give them a run. And uh, looking forward to more innovation in this space. Lewis Gray from lewisgray.com, checking in.